Yo, what up? It's your boy D Ski, aka Jack, and this is the third edition of the Hot Seat. The Hot Seat is brought to you by Certified Official Production and Cinematic Features, you know what I mean? So today on the Hot Seat, we got somebody a certified official once again, you know what I mean? Solo 919, please step into the hot seat. What's up, what's up, what's up, man? What's up, bro? My bad, my bad, my bad. What's good? You know, I've been what's sipping good? a little bit. All right. What's good, bro? What's good? Nah, nah, I had to slide through, man. You know? Yeah, so look, tell us about Solo 919. Tell us a little more about Solo 919. You mean like the meaning of it? So, right, right. Uh, whatever, the meaning, whatever. Yeah, it's like, you know, it's, it's basically self-explanatory, like, solo, like, I don't need too many people, you feel me, around me. Mm -hmm. I run solo, I can get it done by myself, you know what I'm saying? So, right. That's basically what solo, man, that's where it come from, you know. And now and now, from, you know, Goldsboro. Right, like, born and raised Goldsboro? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Over North Carolina. Right. So when you decided that you wanted to do music, like, who, what influenced you to to do music was it like a, a song or was it somebody or just being just being around it like being in the atmosphere of it like in the studio my mm -hmm. pops he used to have people through all the time you know what i'm saying i used to go in there we used to chill and i got into it you know what i'm saying so so who who were some of the, some of the people that influenced you to do that who are some people that you grew up listening to rappers like real rappers like people around me. whoever uh, it was mostly people around me, man, like my boy Chachi Mexicano, uh, my dad, my uncle, J1, uh, Miles Styles, that's my uh, other uncle. So really just people around me, like rappers too, but people around me made me want to do it. Right. Okay. So it wasn't like a particular song, like you want to just sit to some music one day and say, damn, that's it right there. That's it was a particular right song that Chachi made. I like the way that, that auto tune sound. <laughs> Or, you know, just songs he was making, I like how that sound. You know what I'm saying? So that's what made me get right. into it. So your name wasn't always Solo 919? Nah, Solo Youngin, when I first started. What made like you? A year. What made so, you change it up from? Uh, I ain't no Youngin no more. You know, so. Nigga said he all basically. grown up now, I ain't no Youngin no more. Yeah, basically. Ain't no you youngin big no boy more. now. Yeah, yeah. So. Like, coming up, was you always like writing by yourself? Or like, like, was you write, always writing these songs by yourself? Because you got some hot ass songs. I want, uh. What's well, your yeah. thought process with your lyrics and all of that? At How first, I was. At first, I was writing. Right. But I started writing. Like, I got into the studio and started realizing, man, I get more creative going line by line, you know what I'm saying? Like, punching in and, you know what I'm saying? I can Straight bounce off the top of the dome. I, yeah, I can bounce off the last bar. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it something else that different every time you know what i'm saying like when i write it's, it's gonna be plain i don't know why but yeah right it's always plain so what makes your style of music different from everybody else's what make you stand out what makes you stand out from everybody else I mean, real real like real situation real shit and uh real shit i've been through real shit people around me been through right real shit people go through everywhere Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm trying to get on more fun stuff, you know what I'm saying? Get out of that. Fun stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just like more uh versatile shit, you know what I'm saying? I think you're pretty versatile, man. Yeah, I don't feel I don't feel like it's enough. You know what I'm saying? It's always room to room to improve. Right. Yeah, so 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 what, what what do you think will make you like like your music better? Like you're saying, there's more room to improve. So how would you improve? I don't know. Being around more people, different people, uh, different vibes and stuff, man. Different listening, to different beats, mm -hmm. trying different word plays and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So everybody know you signed with Certified Official. The whole Goldsboro know it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Inside with and the and the first show I did, I did it with, with Bugsy. Mm -hmm. So like, he told me how y'all met. Yeah. So I want to hear your side of the story. How, how did y'all meet? Cause he, you know what I mean? Was, he seen it from his point of view. He already knew my pop. So I guess uh, my pops reached out to him. He saw what he was doing, you know what I'm saying? It was some 
some real official shit, mm -hmm. some real certified shit. So mm -hmm. he was like, you know, but he basically put put us in the same, you know what I'm saying? Same uh, atmosphere, you know what I'm saying? He put us together. Who's like, us? Uh, me and Bone. You know? Okay. Oh, your pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He okay. Put, he put us in the same, you know what I'm saying? So we, we basically just introduced us, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He told him about me. Let him hear some shit. We let him hear some shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you know he was fucking with it enough to okay. fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? So. All right. And you also talked about some of your label mates, Shy Romel, yeah. AAG Rock. You know what I'm saying? What's it like working with them? Have you worked with them yet in the studio? And what's it like working with them? Yeah, I worked with Shy Romel. It was straight. Uh, see, me and Rock can't never. Catch each other. Yeah. Oh, word, okay. Yeah, me and Rock can't never. So, her, other, Rock, you, you hearing it right now. He, he said, I can't never, you yeah. know what I mean? So, we, you got to make it work. You we talk about it most of the time, that's, though. That's some platinum shit right you know what there. I'm saying, I'm saying it right now. That's some platinum shit right there. Yeah, we talk about it most of the time. Like, we exchange beats and everything. It's just, mm -hmm. we doing too much on the side right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, other than your label mates that you work with, who are some of the people that you work with, or who are some people that you would like to work with? Production, people. independent, say, uh, in industry, whatever. Yeah, people I have worked with, uh, the Hawaiian Prince. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think, Qualito. Uh, it's a couple of people, man, I just, uh, e loaded. It's a couple of them, bro. Like I can't really think of them, but people I would like to work with, I can't really name them off the head. It's a lot of them, though. Man. It's a lot of them. It's a lot. Everybody, anybody, anybody can. You know what I'm saying? Like just mm -hmm. to, you know, pick up on different stuff, learn, learn different. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a hobby. You feel me? Making right. music a hobby. So. Yeah, just have fun with it. What's one of your favorite tracks that you made? Uh, like, like not matter of fact, not one of the. But what is the favorite track that you made that you came up with? Cause you got some, you yeah, got some bangers. Yeah, I don't really got one. I know someone that's that ain't out yet. Yeah. You also got videos. So who are some of the people that you work with with your videos and all of that? Uh, and where with, your videos at? I work with Jed. Uh, YouTube, I work with Jazz, Swain Visuals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about it. Um, it's a lot more people I do want to work with. As far as, as, far as making videos? Yeah. yeah. Who is that? Who is that? Shout them out. Who is that? Uh, oh, yeah, I thought. That's, that's, what, that's what this is for. You know, I'm trying to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm just the milk, you know what I mean? I'm just the one to wash it down. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? I fuck with, man. I fuck with popcorn, of course, you know what I'm saying? Pop for King, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cinematic features. I, I wish I could shoot that nigga, man, but I ain't got no buttons, you know what I'm <laughs> so I ain't got yeah. no buttons. Shout out to Mickey D with all the fucking buttons. And, and then uh, Judd TV, he pretty good. Mm -hmm. I've been seeing a lot of his shit. A lot of people from where I'm from. And then, you know, I don't really know that many people, uh, you know, way out there and shit. Right. I want to yeah. start here. Right. And then, um, you know, okay. around from now. So look, you top the charts on the show, what DJs do on Sunday, right? Yeah, yeah. Every Sunday at six o'clock, some shit like that. <laughs> but you top the charts at, on, on uh, what DJs do on Sunday, you know what I'm saying? Like a few times, you know what I'm saying? Big mm -hmm. ups on that, you know what I mean? How it feels to accomplish that and and know that people fuck with your music like that, you know what I'm saying? They stream your music, how it feels. Uh, a lot of a lot of those episodes I'm missing, but I see the comments like later on tagged or something. Yeah, it, uh, we were talking about we was getting thousands of views back then too. Yeah, so like, yeah. like yeah, that, that shit won't no bullshit. Like, like motherfuckers really putting you at number one. It won't us. Like you know what I mean? It was really the people putting you up there mm -hmm. at number one. Yeah, it felt. It felt good though to see that people rock with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? It made me even rock with it even more. Right. Feel it even more. You know what I'm saying? So, like, made you want to go back in the studio and curate more. Yeah, keep, yeah, keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Right. So, from there, I, you know, a lot of songs, man, I, I get inspired off the love. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? So he right. was up there for a while for like like two or three different songs. Yeah. He was up there for a minute. One song stayed up there for like a month. Probably would have probably would have kept being out there. I mean, I just stopped submitting. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, man, like Yeah, I slowed down submitting. It was crazy. It was it was real crazy, man. So like um your father is an artist, engineer, producer. Tell us about the experience of being an artist from a musical background, basically. Uh, it feel almost like, uh, like you know how, um, damn, like kind of in my blood type shit. You know, what right? I mean? Right. My, can't know. help it. Yeah. Can't. It just come to you. Yeah. Basically. Just like that. Basically. That's for sure. Because it, it came to me so simple, so easy. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. Yeah. So. But, but uh, everything that's going on, you see all this music coming out. You got the little, the little yous out here that's watching you, that's, that's seeing you doing what you do, you know what I'm saying? Mm. What kind of message can you send them to, you know what I mean, let them know to keep going? What kind of message can you give them? Well, my little brother be inspired off of me, so, mm. you know, just speaking from what, you know, what I see with him, right. just keep going. Don't 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 give up. You know what I'm saying? And even if you don't make music, like it's basically like it don't matter what you've been through, you can you know, you can get through it. You know what I'm saying? So right. that's what I say to anybody that look up to me or listen to my music. Right. So I heard you got a website and all of that. Yeah. So tell me tell everybody more about the website. Oh uh solo dot com. You just S O L O now and now dot com. I'm gonna have merch up there soon. Uh, it lets you know about all my shows. You know any events coming up, mm -hmm. anything. It's gonna be up there. So look out for that. You also got an EP coming out on all platforms mm -hmm. and all of that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, a yeah. mixtape yeah. on SoundCloud. Your music is real one of a kind. Mm -hmm. Like it's crazy. You know what I mean? Tell us how it feels to work hard and be creative and come up with the music, music that you come up with. Um, some, some nights or some days or whatever, it come natural sometimes. Hard work, you know what I'm saying? A lot hard of, work pays a lot of, off. A lot of thought, because you got to think of the melody. You know, first you start with the beat, but you got to ride it with the melody. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to be rhythm all that then you don't want to you don't want to get caught up in the same rhythm play you know what i'm saying right same word play and punch lines and shit. you want to be different every time so yeah it might have the same vibe or, but you want to switch it up you know what i'm saying so it's hard work is, is there like certain type of beats that you like yeah like I or like, i like guitar beats piano piano beats mm -hmm. i like hard bass too right yeah Gotta be some kind of like some shit you listen to. It sounds like something going on by itself. You know what right. Saying? So like it puts you shit. in the mode. Yeah. It puts you in. I was saying like I was about to say like when you in the studio, what's your what's your thought process? What makes you come up with it and be creative like you do? For the first the first line I go line by line. So the first line I go on from there. So it depends on whatever that first line I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep going from there. Pretty and just much. keep it moving, just keep it flowing. Yeah, yeah. Bar for bar. Yeah, yeah. Line by line. Punch in. So, like, do you feel like you said you said it earlier? Like, it's different from writing. Do you feel like it's easier for you to just do it like that than to sit down and write to a beat? Yeah. It's more easier. Why you think it's more easy to do it like that? Cause, uh, like, I can go ahead and, like I said, with the. With the melodies and the creativity, like if I write it right, if I write it, and I'm just I'm chilling writing it. Mm -hmm. When I go record it, it's not gonna sound how I had it in my head when I wrote it. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it, it, I gotta go and jump on it when I, you know what I'm saying? As soon as you feel it, you gotta go in and jump on get it. it. Yeah. And all I need is that first line. I'm going from there. Yeah. So if it, it's it fault my creativity if I if I end up writing. Right. Versus going in there and getting it up, like getting it out of the way and shit. You know what I'm saying? Why it's on my mind. So, yeah. where do you hope to be in like the next like three to five or 
far as your music, where do you hope, what, what kind of heights do you hope to climb? You know, the peak, man, top. <laughs> trying, to, I'm trying to go to the top, so whatever, whatever I gotta do to make it there, I'm willing to learn, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, uh, progress. All right, so tell everybody where they can find your music at, man. Your, your videos, your, your your music, and all of that. All right, uh, shoot. Solo 919. That's anywhere, that's everywhere. Uh, my social media, Solo 919. I'm on iTunes, YouTube, Spotify, SoundCloud, anywhere. So, it really ain't hard to find. All right. Certified official music, NC. All right, so what's coming up next? What you working on? Does anybody know what you working on next? And and I mean, what's next for Solo 919? Uh, I got an LP on the way. No Time to Waste Part 2. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're looking at, hopefully we're looking forward to some more shows. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's it right now. Videos and shit, you know. You know, right now. Anybody you want to shout out real quick while you're here in the hot seat? I know that seat getting hot, man. So you go ahead and get your <laughs> shout outs. You know what I mean? You put me on the spot. Put you on the spot. <laughs> Shout out Certified, man. <laughs> Shout out uh, GCE. Shit. Shout out Goldsboro, man. <laughs> right. Favorite rapper right now. Favorite rapper. NBA Young Boy. Jump right into it, too. Yeah, he, he too. He too crazy, man. Mm -hmm. If you weren't rapping right now, what would you be doing? Shit. Well, see, getting hot, buddy. <laughs> oh, no, work. Working. <laughs> Rock grinding somehow. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. So look, we talked about your music, you know what I'm saying? Like I could say, you, you, you had a couple songs on what DJs do on Sunday and they, they went number one quick and stayed there uh -huh. for a while, you know what I mean? And you said you got videos out, you know what I mean? We can find your videos on Certified Official Music and C on YouTube, you know what I mean? But we about to go into one of your videos. So let everybody know what this video is called right here. Oh, this is uh, Infected. Solo 909, Infected. Yeah. All right, so you about to go into this video. This is the Hot Seat Solo 919 Certified Official Music, you know what I mean? Let's get it, infect it, let's go. Fuck all these hoes, you number one, and that's for sure. I've been filled it with your love, but I do not need a cure. Don't think I take it serious, and I'm knowing that it hurt. Either way, it's on my fault for all the pain. I'ma do it, yeah. you already know that. I know you feel so way, but I can't control that. And I got my ways, but I can't control that. Don't think I don't care, just cause I don't show that. I wanna give you my heart, but I don't think you can hold it. We done took it too far, I don't think we can go back. If you don't like where we going, then you know where to go at. Shoot at my heart and just know I'ma blow back. You know that I got just stay through whatever, it don't matter the place, the time, the weather. But whoever that's hating, we stuck together. These bitches to be ducked, I plucked, they fell. Can't do nothing for me, so I'd rather have you. When I know how I feel, they gon' chill in the school. All these feelings be real, no, they ain't fool. Girl, just let me know what you tryna do. Yeah. Little mama nice fatigue, cause she always on my mind all the time. If I ever did a cry, no, she wouldn't drop a dime. She could be feeling all alone, but pretend that she fine. Fuck all these hoes, you number one, and I ain't lying. Fuck all these hoes, you number one, and that's for sure. I've been filled it with your love, but I do not need a cure. But you don't think I take it serious, and I'm knowing that it hurt. Either way, it's on my fault for all the pain. Mama nice fatigue, cause she always on my mind all the time. If I ever did a cry, no, she wouldn't drop a dime. She could be feeling all alone, but pretend that she fine. Fuck all these hoes, you number one, and I ain't lying. Hold you number one, and that's for sure. I've been filled it with your love, but I do not need a cure. You don't think I take it serious, and I'm knowing that it hurt. Either way, it's on my fault. For it. I need to forget, but how did I forget? All this money in my mind that I gotta go and get. Tryna run my bag up, I ain't gonna stop it till I'm rich. Ain't no way I'm going broke, I wanna top and I can't quit. I'm out here chasing all the ends, but you think I'm with a chick. Why can't you let me do my thing and you go hang with your clique? You know I really trust in you, but you don't trust me for shit. Tell me what I gotta do, and I promise I'll do it. Hey. Ooh, baby, you fine, baby. Get that shit off your mind, baby. Hell, nah, I ain't lying. Baby, wipe your face, don't be crying Hop in the ride, tell me where you wanna go You by my side when we out on the road You by my side, tell me where you wanna go
treat you right, that's for sure. Hop on the stage, you can dance in my show. Get ain't no one better, you one of a kind. Yeah, you the best, and you ain't even trying. Take you out on a date just to clear out your mind. And baby, you fine. Just like some wine, show you just how I hustle. Girl, I'm a boss. Wanna be with a boss, and it come with a cost. Girl, go to the crib, and we get it on. Girl, you already know what I'm on. Little mama, nice petite, cause she always on my mind all the time. If I ever did a crime, then she wouldn't drop a dime. She could be feeling all alone, but pretend that she fine. Fuck all these hoes, you number one, and I ain't lying. Fuck all these hoes, you number one, and that's for sure. I've been fed with your love, but I do not need a cure. But you don't think I take it serious, and I'm knowing that it hurt. Either way, it's on my fault for all the pain. Little mama, nice petite, cause she always on my mind all the time. If I ever did a crime, then she wouldn't drop a dime. She could be feeling all alone, but pretend that she fine. Fuck all these hoes, you number one, and I ain't lying. Hold you number one, and that's for sure. I've been fed with your love, but I do not need a cure. Don't think I take it serious, and I'm knowing that it hurt. Either way, it's on my fault for all the pain that you endure. All right, so that video was dope, man. Yeah. That video was crazy, bro, man. So who you work with on that video? And uh, what was, how'd you come up with that concept? There was some dude over in Raleigh, man. I can't even really think of his name right now. But so was, I can't shoot the nigga because you can't think of his name? Yeah, nah, there was some dude in Raleigh, though. I can't really think of him. Mm. But, um, yeah, it was a fun experience, though, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was, we was in Raleigh. We went, some, you know what I'm saying? Went and got some cars and shit. Right. Went to some rooms. You know what I'm saying? So it was pretty straight. Had some fun mm -hmm. riding around and stuff. So. Right. Yeah. Okay. If, it, if there's anything like you can change, would you change it? And if you could, it would be real. Up. I'm talking about period. Oh, oh uh, shit. Nah, man, because everything, everything you go through, man, it's, it's like you learn. You know what I'm saying? You get better. Right. So, everything happens for a reason. Yeah, everything happens for a reason. So, nah, I don't regret none. I don't, I don't take back none. What's the worst experience you had, like, in the studio or on stage or whatever? Oh, on the stage, man, my first time. It was new to me, man, so I was like, damn. I don't know, man, I was sounding bad. It was, it was new to me. <laughs> what you mean you was sounding bad? It was new to me, man. I just, I ain't never did it before, so. That, that nervousness kick in, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I don't really do good in front of the audience. Or well, before that, nah, you know what I'm saying? But now I'm getting a little bit better. Right. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more comfortable. The more you do it, the more you yeah. get more comfortable. Like, I probably wouldn't even be doing this camera shit like before. But Where? I came out with it, you know what I'm saying? Brought myself out of my shell a little bit. Even with videos, I was down the same way with videos. Stiff, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Not really doing too much. Okay, well, I think so. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable. So do you see yourself doing more shows? Do you think that's going to stop you from doing shows? Or do you think you're going to get comfortable with it? Or do you think that's going to be a problem for you? Nah, nah. As I go on, I get better. So I just take what I learned from the last one. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Every time, I le every time I learn something new from the next one, keep going, keep going. Man. Eventually, I'm going to be good, man. So I don't ever let that hold me back or nothing. Okay. Yeah, it's all a lesson. It's all down. Getting better, you get better at this shit, man. The more you practice, the better you get. So, yeah, that's how I see it now. All right, earlier you said we talked about your name, Solo 919. You're formerly known as Solo Youngin. You know, how did that transformation, if it did or if it didn't, affect your music, if at all, or affect you in any type of way? Um. Uh, I think the the message behind my music stayed the same, but like mm -hmm. I got a little bit more um, mature with this shit. Like you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, with anything in life. So yeah, it's like I, it's basically like I yeah feel like I just became mature with this shit with everything. 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? The transition was big. Felt big. You know what I'm saying? And I can notice. I notice it. You know what I'm saying? Now it you. Ain't, it ain't nothing I don't notice. You feel me? I, I notice it. Now you know in hip hop, hip hop is like any other sport. It's competition. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even like. It might be friendly or it might be, you know what I'm saying, on some other shit, you know what I mean? So do you feel like you're the best? And if you do feel like you're the best, why? It's always better out there, but in your, in your mind, yeah, you got to stay. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to mm -hmm. think like you're the best. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm the best, man. I feel like I can get better, too. Right. Um, yeah. Right. And there's always room for that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So look, man, Certified Official, man, Certified Official Music, Certified Official Fashion is doing a thing, man. Y'all mm -hmm. y'all doing y'all numbers, y'all doing y'all thing, man. So I heard that somewhere down the line, they're looking at a distribution deal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So what what do it feel like to, to, to be a part of that, knowing that you about to be a part of like one of the strongest labels around? and about to be even stronger with some shit like that going on. Man, it feel good. It's just, um, you know what I'm saying? Just keep faith, man. Cause mm -hmm. we never know how it may go. You know right. what I'm saying? Different shit got us and down. Mm -hmm. Shit could change tomorrow, so just keep pushing with it. You know what I'm saying? Right. It, it'll be, it'll be wonderful. You know what I'm saying? Right. Get up out of here. Right. Yeah. So up on your upcoming what is it, an EP or LP? Um, it's up and coming right now. Who are some of the producers that you work with? Or do you want to tell anybody you want to keep it a secret until they come out? Yeah, yeah I'm going to keep that a secret, man. But, I, but most of my songs, really almost everything from uh, my pop, my dad. They do the engineering shit. Right, right. Yeah. So. Right, that's what's up. GCE. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Studios. So what do you hope to accomplish in in the game, and, and what do you want people to to know you as when it's all said and done? Shit, to, um, to to remember you by, as I should say, you know what I mean? I want to bring more real into the damn game, man. Do you hear what he just you said? Know what I'm saying bring more real, more, you know what I'm saying, true lyrics and shit. A lot of this shit just bullshit. And then, uh, shit, yeah, basically, man, just bring real, real back, man. Mm -hmm. And people people know me as what I've been through. You know what I'm saying? Right. That shit, my milestone. I'm trying to set huge milestone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, and so you hope to reach platinum status and all of that. That's just for you trying to get to. Yeah. Or if you really ain't looking for that. Yeah. You said. Because some people ain't looking for platinum status. Some people just do it. You know what I'm saying? You got some people that do it. You know what I'm saying? To get platinum status for the whole world. To, 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 to feel them. Some people ain't like that, you know what I'm saying? So you want yeah, people that, that want to reach platinum status so the whole world can feel you or, you know what I mean? Yeah, if I get, yeah. I'm, I'm going for a top, so. I'm with whatever come with it, you know what I'm saying? Right. Determination, man, you gotta be determined. That's what's up. Yeah. I ain't gonna hold you too long, man. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you coming through. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? But I fought with you, cool, cool vibe. You know gotta get you back again, man. You know what I'm saying? I get yeah. you back again. You know what I mean? Yeah. B-Ski, a.k.a. Yeah. Jack, Solo 919, the hot seat. You know what I mean? If you don't know what the hot seat is, the hot seat is for all independent artists, independent labels, independent businesses. If you got anything you're trying to promote, get at me, man. S-K-E-E, -E, Jack. <laughs> 12 at gmail.com, ski jack at gmail.com. That's S K E E Jack <laughs> at gmail.com. You know what I'm saying? I'm shooting shots at somebody, you ain't got to say no names, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Get at us, you know what I'm saying? Hot seat, we out.